What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a good old-fashioned Target haul. If you like Target hauls, please subscribe because I do plan on doing more in the future. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Let's get into the haul. start off real quick with the food items or food drink whatever items i recently talked about these in my favorites video but these are amazing the last couple of times i've gone i haven't been able to find them so i just picked up a package two other things that i talk about in my favorites video are these alani new energy drinks these are so good so good every time i go to target i just pick a few up i have a few more in my fridge but highly recommend they taste amazing. So I picked up these stars above perfectly cozy fabric shorts. I actually, this is going to be my third pair of these. These are so soft and so comfortable. Currently working from home. I'm not sure when I'm going back to the office to have something nicer on top when I'm doing inter Zoom interviews and everything. But down below, <laughs> I love to be comfy and I have found these to be so comfortable. It's very hard to film when you've got a cute little dog. You wanna say hi? Come here. Come on, let's say hi. Hi, hi. Hi. Okay, that's Lewis, by the way. I forgot my train of thought. So these are just super, super cozy and comfortable to lounge around the house. I don't really love sleeping in them because they kind of stretch and I don't love the feeling that I get when I'm like laying in bed with them. So I tend not to wear them to bed or anything, but they are super comfortable. I already have the charcoal black color and then they recently came out with a like lilac -y purple along with this color so now I have three. Speaking of loungewear and you know comfy cozy stuff I did pick up this set so these are the bottoms and they're just like a lounge type shorts it's by the grayson thread sleepwear brand so you can definitely wear these to bed but i just plan on wearing them around the house and then the top is actually this one that i have on right now it's i guess these lips with all different little patterns I and think it's gonna be perfect for like summers here and you know just kind of doing things around the house it's just super lightweight it's very comfortable um, I don't know. I just really like it. I think the entire set was $20 and then oh I forgot to mention these are like $14.99 One thing I will say is I hate purchasing sets because I am usually bigger on my top half because of my larger chest um, And then my bottom half I'm usually like a medium sometimes a large so I had to get an extra large so I could fit up here Which means my shorts are also extra large so I think these are gonna be a little too big for me. I plan to just roll them up and I think I'll be okay. In the health and beauty type realm, I've got a few more products and one of them is just a repurchase of deodorant. I was out, so I'm really trying to get into the natural type deodorants. And at first I did not realize that you have to go through a detoxing period because I was like, oh my God, these are not working for me. These are not working, like I just can't do it. But I did read that you have to kind of go through like a 30, sometimes 45 day detox to get rid of like the built up antiperspirants and then they'll start working for you. So my plan is to do that, but I, the ones that I've tried recently, ones from Native, um, is a two actually different flavors. I don't remember what they were. They kind of gave my underarms a rash because I do have really sensitive underarms. So I'm going to try some different. So if you have any recommendations for natural deodorants, um, leave them down below because I do want to try a few more. Okay, what kind of inspired this trip down the beauty aisle and everything was actually Juicy Jasses. I think that's how you say her channel's name, Juicy Jasses. Um, recent bit Target haul. So she went, got a bunch of stuff from Target, and one of the things that she mentioned were these Mighty Patch. And I already love these. I love these. I've been using these for a year, two years now. I don't know how long, but 
Um, I love these. They're some of my most repurchased things. I actually get them a lot from Thrive Market. She mentioned that these are the invisible and I don't have the invisible ones, which is cool because if you have a little blemish, you can stick it on and actually go out in public and people not see it. So I thought this was really, really cool. I didn't know that they, like I said, I didn't know they had the invisible. So yeah, I picked these up to try and hopefully they are as good as the normal ones. So, you know, on the end caps, they've always got like different products and stuff. And one of the end caps at my Target now features this function of beauty. And I just saw the end cap and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. Cause it was like all rainbow colors and stuff. So it's really the colors that got me intrigued, but I thought I would try this out. This is the Function of Beauty Straight Hair Shampoo. And what's cool is, uno momento, is you can actually add these like little shots into them to add, I guess like whatever your hair goal is. So I picked up the volume one because I have really fine thin hair. So I'm always looking for things with volume. So I thought I'd give this a try. It was reasonably priced. I think it was $10 and I forgot what it smells like. Ooh. It smells really good. It's a really fresh, um, Side. so I think it'll be nice and then yeah you just stick one of these I think when I was reading you can put three of these into your bottle of shampoo or whatever but I just purchased one and we'll see how it goes I've had red fingernail polish on my fingers since like Christmas and I keep telling myself to pick up some nail polish remover and then I keep forgetting even though I could probably purchase it from Amazon but I haven't so I was at Target going through the aisles and I saw this acetone free nail polish remember so I just ended up picking it up and this stuff is bomb like seriously this is bomb you stick your hand in there which I do love these I've, I've tried this before like the ones where you like stick your fingers in there but you stick your fingers in there and literally like barely barely get a little bit on and it's gone like, I was shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like magic. I've seen a lot of Instagram ads coming around for Olive and June. They have really cute, cute nail type stuff. So I thought I would give it a try. It's only $7.99. And like I said, these this is bomb. It takes off your nail polish super, super fast. Two more products. So I don't remember whose video I was watching, but I was watching some influencers and they talked about this. Actually, they picked it up at Target. And this is the Sonia Kashuk Makeup Blender. It's just a big sponge. So I guess once you wet it, it expands pretty big. But they were saying they really liked it because of its bigger size. So it's easier to put on like their cream bronzers and stuff like that. So it was only $5. I was like, I'll give it a try. And then the last thing that I got from Target is this um, Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Now, I've heard people talk about this for years. It's just a drugstore um, translucent powder, but everybody who has talked about it says it's amazing. So this, was, I think, was only like $5.99. It was really reasonably priced, and there's a lot of product in here. I don't want to, like, open it because I don't know. Oh, it comes with a poof. What do you guys say? Puff or poof? I say poof. Anyways, it comes with that. It looks really nice. I recently tried the um, Patrick Star like one size translucent powder and I, I, I really don't like it. I hated the primer. I don't want to get into that, but I really did not like it. So I was looking for another translucent powder to try and I would rather spend $5.99 on something if it's good than probably 20 30 so. So that is all that I got from Target recently. Comment down below if you've tried any of the things that I've mentioned. And I plan to do more Target hauls in the future, just depending on what I get. Some of the things I feel like aren't that exciting. If you do like these Target hauls, please let me know because I want to know what kind of content that you guys want to see from me. I never have a problem going to Target. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.